Right guys, before we get on with this video, I do realize that the 917 has come out, but I filmed it literally two weeks before the 917 came out. I'm absolutely gutted, but it's video, it's content, and you might enjoy it. And I'm hoping that if anyone out there is looking to buy a secondhand 915, maybe it might help. So yeah, let's get on with the video. Alright guys, today for you I've got the Titleist 915D3, okay? So, Titleists have always been renowned as the Players Club, so I don't know why I'm hitting them, because I wouldn't consider myself a player. But, slightly different, Titleists never really changed for a long time. They, were, they had a method, they stuck to it, and they sold hundreds and hundreds of thousands of clubs worldwide. But things have changed a little bit now, they're starting to embrace new technologies, and new theories on golf club man manufacturing, but they haven't lost that traditional feel that you get from a Titleist. So when I put this down, it's a 440cc head, pear-shaped, really looks like a good player's club. So I'm terrified that I'm about to hit it, don't know where it's gonna go. Now, what they have done is they put an active recoil channel in the sole of the driver, okay, which actively flex flexes at impact, which is designed to give you more ball speed. Okay, we first saw something similar to this to, on the TaylorMade RBZ 3 wood, which I still use to this day, and it does make a big difference. Okay, so I'm very interested to see how that, that works out as well. The other thing that the D3 boasts is a radial speed face. Of course, say that five times quickly when you're drunk, which is basically firmer in the middle and thinner on the uh, outside, so you're designed to get a lot more ball speed off of those off center strikes. We're not all perfect, we're not all players, so we do hit it badly on occasion. So we want to make sure we still get the correct distance. Imagining that I've got to hit it 270 yards over water. So, nothing more to say other than I've got it in a nine and a half degree head, and I've got the Adela Rogue shaft and stiff. Now, if you remember correctly, when I te tested the M1 and M2 from TaylorMade is the same shaft. Now I'm all about consistency, so I'll be interested to see how this performs over the TaylorMade. So that was off center. That was at the toe. You could hear it, it sounded very tinny. Not tight this fault, that was what I like to call operator error. Having said that, that felt good. I'm still very tinny. I'm surprised. Get one more. <laughs> Better. Okay, that's a pretty decent one. Okay, so. As I mentioned earlier, it's the same shaft I used with the TaylorMade and both the M1 and the M2. And if you haven't already checked those videos out, make sure you do. But I can safely say that the TaylorMade did outperform the D3 in both the M1 and the M2. So overall distance at 250 carry 267 total, it's not the greatest in the world. Um, even though the smash factor was quite good and the club head speed, you know, you know, wasn't too bad on the first one it tracked. It's still not what I would expect from Titus really. It's sort of underwhelming. Even though it sounds good, it feels great, you know, it it's sort of underwhelming on a performance side. And spin you know, spin rate's pretty decent and everything like that, but it's just it flies too low, in my opinion. If you hit the ball way too high, then maybe you should look at this club. <clears throat> but eighty four feet in the air is just not high enough to get a maximum carry out of it. Uh, ignore the fact that there's numbers underneath that, that's because I'm a numpty and forgot to uh, change the um, change the settings when I went to a D2, so yeah, uh, ignore that. You'll see those results in the next video. Very surprised by that noise. Didn't sound like tightness of old. I'm not saying it's a bad noise, it just wasn't what I was expecting. 
Okay, I definitely felt with those toe strikes that I was hitting, the ball did look like it was still going off quite quickly, and it wasn't too ridiculously offline either. So, where I was thinking this players club, designed for good players, not Dave Topman, was going to give, give me no margin for error at all. Essentially, if I hit a bad shot, it would, you know, if I hit it at the toe, it was going to go 180 yards left, and I'd be killing people miles away. So, very surprised that even though I hit that toe strike, it still stayed relatively online. Maybe tight list are sort of trying to adapt to a wider market. There's no doubt that when I hit it out the middle, it still flew like a tight list. I should do. You know, really nice ball flight. You know, minimal spin, good launch angle. So, good job, tight list. Pleasantly surprised. Right, guys, I really hope you enjoyed the videos. Uh, make sure you check out all the other ones. We've got plenty of videos from this series. I want to just quickly say thank you very much to Duncan Lambert and his team down here at West Morlin. Check them out. It's one of the premium custom fitting centres in the southeast of England, home to the greatest ladies shop as well. So, lady golfers, come and check these guys out. Absolutely amazing. As always, guys, thank you very much for watching. If you've liked the video, please hit like. Subscribe to our channel for all the latest video updates and follow us on all our other social media platforms. Thanks very much.